ballots are in, drop boxes are closed. We are now starting to see who is on their way to the general election. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. I'm Greg Copeland. It is primary election night and we have a, a results from all across Western Washington for you. We have team coverage, including the Seattle City Council races, the mayoral races in Pierce and Snohomish counties and analysis from our political experts. We're going to begin with King 5's Ted Land covering one of the hottest races on the ballot. Ted, which two candidates are leading the Seattle mayoral race? So right now it's looking like Bruce Harrell and Lorena Gonzalez. Harrell with a strong lead in that race. A loud cheer went up here at the party when they announced the results and uh, he took the microphone and started talking about what the next steps will be, sounding very much like he is uh, getting ready for November, as is Gonzalez. Uh, Harrell said that this is a first step heading towards November, getting through this night. He says he wants to create a vision of what Seattle should be, and he looks forward to having those conversations over the coming months. He says he wants to change the culture of policing in Seattle and build trust with the community. He says we are going on to celebrate tonight, and then he said onward to the general election. Here's more of what he told us right after those numbers came in. We're certainly pleased at the results, and we think that, as you may recall, when I announced about four or five months ago, I said I believe in effective public safety, seven minute response times. I understand why people want to defund, but I want to reimagine and reform. And I needed people to feel like they had a common sense leader in, this, in the mayor. Lorena Gonzalez said in a statement, we have a very good chance to go on to November when all of the votes are counted. She says Seattle voters are sending a powerful message for change, and she called Harold the corporate-backed status quo candidate. So we'll likely be hearing more of that messaging in the coming weeks and months. But again, these are preliminary numbers. We're waiting for more ballots to come in over the next week or so to get a more clear picture of who the top two candidates are. But right now, they are... Bruce Harrell and Lorena Gonzalez. Live in Leshai, Ted Land, King 5 News. Back to you guys. Okay, Ted, thank you. Well, Seattle City Council position nine is up for grabs as Lorena Gonzalez makes her bid for mayor. King 5's Callie Greenberg is live in Ballard. And Callie, you spoke with the candidates currently sitting in the top spots. Right, those are Sarah Nelson and Nikita Oliver. Both have run for office in Seattle before. Both are now looking for that position nine slot, which is an at-large slot for the city of Seattle, meaning it represents the entire city. Now, here we are at the Nelson event. This is at Stoop Brewing. You may know that Sarah Nelson is the owner of Fremont Brewing, but she said she wanted to support another business tonight. A few moments ago, we spoke to her. She said right now she is feeling relieved and says a big part of her campaign is making sure council is held accountable. Now, let's talk about those results there. Sarah Nelson right now is sitting at 43%. Nikita Oliver has 35% of the vote so far. Uh, obviously, ballots are still trickling in in the coming days. Now, in third, you have Brianna Thomas. That is Lorena Gonzalez, chief of staff. She has 14%. So on the other side of town, we're in Ballard here, but over in Georgetown, Nikita Oliver is having a primary party outside at a local art studio. Nikita says a big piece of the campaign is focused on the arts and culture of the city. Nikita calls themselves the community organizers who poli whose policy focuses on liberation from oppressive sy systems. When you say you want to bring a fresh perspective to the council, what does that mean? It means that, you know, as a community organizer, as a nonprofit executive director, and as an attorney, I have lived on the front lines of many of these crises. I'm a renter and a worker, and I'm also a small business owner. So many of the intersections that the council needs to be taking into consideration in order to move us forward are things that I live in my daily life. And I think that that will be a fresh experience on the council and something that is much needed in order to drive us towards addressing the root causes of the crises that we're facing. Now back at live at the Nelson event, we spoke to Nelson about her views on police reform. That's a topic we're gonna talk about coming up tonight at 10. Live in Ballard, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. Okay, Callie, thanks. Now to the other open Seattle City Council spot. Teresa Mosqueda is the incumbent for position eight. She faces 10 challengers. Mosqueda, 
winning that one, or I shouldn't say winning, but obviously has a majority of the vote tonight. Uh, she and Kenneth Wilson are leading 55 and 19 percent. Kate Martin slightly trailing behind Wilson there with 13 percent. And the King County executive spot is also up for grabs this year. Dow Constantine is seeking re-election against four challengers. He is now in the top two alongside State Senator Joe Wynn. Constantine has held the seat since 2009. And we will have much more results throughout the hour, including races from Snohomish and Pierce counties. We'll also have a deep dive with our political analysts. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more primary election results, you can text the word results with an S to 206-448-4545, and we will send you a link.